I'm Lisa. All set. All right. We'll get a sage. And I'm a fortune teller. There are energies all around us. And some people are more inclined Thank you. to understand what that energy is than others. But the moon's sound on the path you'd like to know about. I don't know how to explain that. It's just sometimes I know things I shouldn't know. And this is from now till the first full moon of the new year. I have lots of feng shui books and zen things. I appreciate the donation. But for some reason, I can't seem to get it right in this house. I am Mary Jane. I've been a friend of Lisa's for over 20 years. The last time I was in the house, it was overwhelming. It's like an avalanche that's really, really overtaken her. She has two bathrooms in the house, and one she does not use, and the other one this isn't safe or healthy at all. I'm doing pretty good at wiping out the roaches in my bathroom. One roach at a time. Next time you have jasmine rice in one of the little microwave cups, fill it with soapy water so they all drown. And guess what? It works. Oh! See, this is what happens when you put them. I'm Gene. I've known Lisa 24 years. I haven't been in her home in years because she stopped allowing people to come in. I had a feeling that she was a hoarder from the stuff out in the yard. And I asked her one day, I says, are you a hoarder? She says, no. This is reusable stuff for her business and her artwork and her jewelry that she does. I'm Dina Stewart Hitzke. I'm with Administration of Resources and Choices Elder Services. We put her in a hotel, but we exhausted our funding in having to keep her in a hotel for this long of a stay. She has three more days before she's going to be homeless. I can't be in this situation. I know that if I don't have this home, I have no place to live, and I will die on the streets. Good morning. Hi. I'm Dr. Hey. Robin Zazio. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist, and I specialize in OCD and hoarding disorder. Whoa. Wow. This That's an interesting welcome we have there. It's my art studio. OK. This is your art studio? Yeah. OK. Lisa stuff is literally coming out of the seams of the house. There are just walls of stuff making it dangerous for anyone to be there. I'm Dorothy Brenninger. I'm a professional organizing expert, and I specialize in hoarding. There's been an emergency alert on all the phones. OK. Monsoon, the streets are completely flooding. I'm going to need to bring 15 crew members in to work on the inside. I know there's nowhere to stand, but I have to do it. We okay. only have two days, and if anybody can do it, you can. OK, hon, thank uh, you. Everybody, come in. It's going to be tough, but find a spot to stand. We've never done it like this before, but we're going to do it. We're just packing everything up, getting it out into the carport to create a space inside the living room for us to work. Is this a keep or not? That's a keep. I use the fortune telling top on top of that. What about these? Are these trash or keys? Oh, no, I use those in my business. That's all business. I want you to head over here, sweetheart. Oh, my game board. Hey, oh, my, that black thing. No, 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 no. I'll get it. Oh, my god. I'll get it. Oh, my god. I use that for my fortune telling. And there's actually two of them. I got it. Oh, my god, they're throwing out the bottles with the, the nets. 
Yep, don't throw them out, because those are my kachinas for this year's project for All Souls. Well, you saw the kachinas in my bedroom. What you size You don't skull? have space for this kind that of thing. That stays out in the carport. Oh, no, that's an art piece. Oh, my god. I saved that for two years. OK, keep that, please, for now. Oh my God, whoa, why are you just throwing out all my papers? That's what I make my stuff out of, is those recycled papers. My business is over. Oh my God, they're throwing out the stuff I use. Code enforcement is asking that we get rid of the back half of everything in that yard. Clear? Clear. Let's go. This was in a gold thing with my other ducks. This was put on the door before we got here. Yeah. And the news is it can come down. Oh, that's fabulous. Everything's in compliance. Your house is in compliance. Your bathroom's in compliance. You've got the backyard in compliance. Yeah, I appreciate you guys that did all this. It's just, you know, there's lots of issues that are still going to be going on, so. Well, mostly we want for you to be able to wheel around with your wheelchair in here. Use some of the furniture as it's meant to be done. You've got at least two spaces to create. This room gets too hot. I specialize in hoarding disorder, and many of the times people are thrilled at all the help that they've received. In Lisa's case, she is so focused on what she's lost that she can't see what she's gained. If we didn't pull this off today, she had no place to live. I know I should be really excited because the red tag's going down, but the joy of being back in the house and the joy of the house being the way it is is overshadowed by what I've had to give up. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.